talking about some things about the history of, of NATO. And we say words like NATO, but NATO is an organization that came into existence in 1949. Uh, and and prime key to its existence was the attack on the Soviet Union. And so right now, this about NATO is an organization of, 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 of something like 30 countries right now. It didn't start out as 30 countries. It started out as most of the colonial countries after the uh, 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 the second imperialist world war to redivide the world, and that's what that war was about to redivide the world. After the second imperialist world war to redivide the world, uh, the the fear of uh, this notion of, uh, of of workers of the world taking power that was coming from uh, Soviet Russia or the Soviet Union, often referred to as Soviet Russia. Um, uh, galvanize all the colonial powers uh, to consolidate uh, this military force that would surround Russia as much as they could surround and contain uh, what they call the Soviet Union. That was the primary basis for the, the, the creation of this organization. People hear the term NATO, but they don't understand necessarily that what we're looking at uh, right now is 30 different countries uh, uh, organized as a military force that came into existence primarily uh, to, uh, as a, as a, uh, to contain or attack uh, Russia. And don't be, make no mistake about it, because that's just the beginning of NATO. Uh, but we're talking about the attack against Russia has been going on by the colonial powers uh, uh, for more than 100 years. In 1917, after the successful workers' revolution in the Soviet Union, uh, in Russia, that, that created the Soviet Union in 1917, uh, the colonial powers of the world, including the United States, invaded Russia uh, to make sure that working people around the world would not have power. And especially, as you and I know, the foundation of the workers of the world have been African people who have been forced into labor to create the social system that we're looking at right now. So it's more than just what's happened over the last couple of years. We'll talk about what happened over the last eight years uh, with uh, with uh, Ukraine, but the start, it started much earlier than that. In fact, what happened in Ukraine is a part of that whole process that's been going on for more than 100 years uh, to take the, to, to neutralize Russia. And as a, at one time, uh, it was characterized as Soviet Russia. At one time, the struggle was disguised as one uh, that was dealing with the question of the workers of the world coming to power, communist ideas. But the reality is that even at the height of the power of the Soviet Union, we didn't see a single fight happen between uh, uh, the Russians and the Americans or the Russians and the Brits, except for that invasion in 19, uh, that happened in 1917. Or uh, what the, the war happened in what they call the Cold War. And the Cold War exposes to us what this struggle was really about. And this struggle from the very beginning, from its inception, uh, was maintaining the colonial domination of the world by the colonizers, by white power, because this is what gave birth to the socialist system, <clears throat> to the socialist system, to the so-called capitalist system that all of them uh, are trying to protect. It didn't just, Jesus didn't bring it. It wasn't a law or something like that. This system has its origin in the enslavement of African people and the colonial domination of the peoples of the world. That's why we live in a world today uh, that's not a, it's not a communist world. Uh, they can't claim to be fighting against communism today. So what are they fighting for? To protect the social system that has its, that has, has its foundation, colonial slavery, the domination of the peoples of the world by this particular social system that gives energy and sustenance uh, uh, to, uh, to the world economy as it, as it exists today. So I think it's really important to say that. And, and to say that, uh, what we have, uh, uh, and that we, we cannot understand this question simply by talking about capitalism and, and socialism and communism. Uh, to, in order to get this thing right, we have to understand the origin of the contradiction. And that what we are working with is what came into existence as a colonial mode of production. All production 